Yokai Watch has been out for about a week, and when I'm not busy raging at its glacial pace. I'm getting a laugh at the localization's attempts to cover up the baked in Japanese-ness that only got double battered and deep fat fried in the sequel. I mean, come on, how do you expect me to believe that a game with Don Chan and Kumamon in it could possibly take place in America? Most amusing, though, is how they renamed the Koten, or Classic Yokai. Unlike modern yokai from the first game, which are largely puns with a Japanese twist, the classic yokai are meant to be actual yokai from Japanese folklore with no strings attached, such as Rokurokubi, Karakasa Obake, and Kappa, who was given the English name Fo Kappa. Oh, so Tengu's okay, but the kids might mistake Kappa for a letter from the Roman alphabet? I mean, I thought the fact that Whisper was so excited to meet him was because he was the real deal! However, the yokai we're talking about today isn't a classic yokai, but is instead a yokai from the present. Then again, like the classic yokai, this yokai's name is supposed to be synonymous with an important figure from Japanese pop culture. So today, we're going to be looking at Toiletta, aka Hanako-san. Hello there, my friendy friends. Have you ever heard the story of Hanako-san? You haven't? Well, Hanako-san is the spirit of a little girl who tragically died when her school was hit by a bombing run in World War II. But these days, it's said that her vengeful spirit haunts bathrooms all over the world. And if you want to, you can summon her with this one little trick. All you have to do is go to the third stall of the third floor girls' bathroom and knock three times and say, Hanako-san, are you there? And if you're lucky or unlucky, you will receive a ghostly reply of, yes. And if you quickly open the stall door, you can see her for yourself. A little girl with a red skirt and short black hair, at which point she will beat the crap out of you or something, I don't know. <laughs> Hanako-san is a long-standing and popular urban legend in Japan, sort of the Japanese equivalent of Bloody Mary. It's the sort of story that couldn't possibly be real, but you can't help but wonder, what would you do if it actually happened? It's a bit difficult to trace the origins of the story, but it started spreading in the 1950s in post-war Japan, making it more of a modern yokai than, say, something inspired during the Sengoku Jidai. <laughs> now, as a product of pop culture, Hanako-san had innumerable appearances in things like TV shows, movies, video games, anime, and all sorts of other places, although there's one particular instance I think has some more significance because Hanako-san had a cartoon show. Hanako-san Gakita was a series of cheaply animated shorts that ran from 1994 to 1999. And by cheaply animated, I mean it. This show was clutch cargo level animated. Anyway, the shorts were in the form of ghost stories where kids tend to get involved with various monsters and spirits and the consequences therein with Hanako-san, played by a young one-punch man in a wig, apparently, arriving at the end to deliver the epitaph. A cartoon involving short segments where kids encounter supernatural creatures? Where have I heard of that before? At the end of the day, this show is good, clean fun. The wildly varying art styles add some spice, and even the theme song says that things really aren't that scary. The monsters themselves are also kind of silly, like a mummy riding a bike with a katana and Pepe the Frog? Okay, that's kind of scary. It's proven kind of tough to get information on it, but it was nostalgic enough to get a small 2011 revival, and I imagine, based on the show's format, that it might have served some of the inspiration for Yokai Watch. In the game, Hanako-san is a C-rank yokai who plays a minor role in the story and is encountered at school in a later quest which parallels events from the first game, after which she can be found messing around with the scale in the nurse's office and befriended, as well as sometimes found in the bathroom stalls like the classic legend. In the anime, Hanako-san is a bit washed up, since the rise of texting and social media means that the impact of her various appearances wear off much more quickly. As a result, Hanako finds that she has to modernize herself, which, being a creation of pop culture, she does so by using pop culture of a more modern variety. Kiri, 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 
She actually becomes a recurring character, appearing in several places throughout the show, probably because of her reputation. And that's a look at Hanako-san, whose English name is unfortunately one of the most nonsensical. Although then again, I imagine they had to struggle really hard to come up with a name. I mean, can I come up with something better? Uh, how about Mary Lou? Mary because she's the Japanese Bloody Mary, and Lou for toilet. And then she evolves into Scary Lou because it rhymes! Oh my god, that was so easy! Jeez! <laughs>